This is what my house wanted to be. We're literally standing where a wall used to be and we use our kitchen so much that being able to fit multiple people in it makes a big difference. Today we're in Parker looking at one of the projects that Josh from Rocky Mountain Cabinet Company actually built uh, for a great family here in Parker that wanted to change the overall space, get a feel for a little bit larger space, allow family to come in a little bit more. Uh, sounds like they have uh, folks in the family that like to bake as well. So Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about this project. Previously there was a very, very shallow kitchen here. There was a okay. wall right about here. And so from here over, the, I mean, the, the whole aisle of the kitchen was only about this big. Okay. I mean, it was a it so was nice a, and tight, real tiny, tight, super, super tight. The lighting was really tricky. Okay. Um, it was a, a, it's a pretty a dark space, stuff. wasn't it? It was a very dark space. Okay. Right? You know, very, very dark wood cabinets that weren't helping anything. Okay. And a lot of these homes were very divided in their space. Yeah. So you had the kitchen was kind of off and then it, you had the opening up into the living room, but mm -hmm. it was very divided. Yeah. So kind of cracking it open and kind of allowing us to, to bring a lot of light in. The homeowner's uh, mother is a fantastic interior designer. So she okay. uh, she put together the entire design. Okay. Um, and then I came in and, and kind of worked out the cabinetry with her. That kind of turned into what you see now. Yeah. And it's What a huge island. I mean, that had to make a huge difference, especially if they're baking. Right. Being able to roll out doughs and different things that gives them a lot more space as well as I love the color change. So we've done the modern slate island with the white surround and that's just such a timeless look and, and will last, it's not, a, it's not super trendy, so it'll last a long time for the exactly. family too. So great selection. I actually just did that in my own kitchen. Nice. So we're seeing more of that. There's a lot of culinary talent in the family. They cook, they bake, they're just, they're, they're just incredible. So it's world. a used kitchen. It it's is not just yeah. for show. No, no. I mean, there's okay. there's a lot of mileage going on in this kitchen. Okay, it's, perfect. Yeah, and this and it definitely you know changed this to a format where where they could really throw down and not have to be you know throwing elbows and okay. and really had room to move and had ergonomically had room to do do the cooking, do the baking, and things do that they wanted they to do to. correctly and without being inhibited so yeah. much. They have an ability to really understand how you're using the space. For example, lifting these cabinets up so that we're not knocking stuff off of the counter all the time, putting two trash cans in because of the use of the space. You know, it's something going into a project that you don't know to ask for or think about. Um, but when those suggestions are coming up, mm. you're kind of, you get that moment where you're like, well, of course, that's fantastic. Mm. That is, of course, the way I would want it to be, right? right? Maybe, you know, maybe things that, you don't know, you don't know sometimes, and yeah. Yeah, how many times yeah. did we say, you don't know till you know till you know till mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that I didn't have to break dishes or get pull another trash can out and find somewhere to put it right. in order to solve those problems because you guys were already thinking about no. that. So what were the big challenges? Thankfully, the cabinetry was relatively straightforward, okay. but I remember this hood being a challenge, um, just having to consider the, the permitting necessary to be able to okay. vent this outside and, and, and to do this correctly, given that it's a larger gas grill. Yes. Um, and, you want to make yeah. sure you have a good amount of CFM going out. Exactly. And then the run to get it out right. is always the challenge. And then the makeup so. air if, if it's necessary. You know, when you're, you're kind of playing with those designs, the permitting, all the different details, mm -hmm. that's probably my best pro tip as far as what you can do is to bring a professional that understands all of those little particulars yeah. that you have to get into. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will kind of DIY their kitchen and they don't know there's certain things that need to be done. Right. And that's a family safety scenario too, mm -hmm. right? So you want to make sure that you are aware of what the current codes are yeah. and what certain safety things are necessary when doing a kitchen. It's a big project. You start developing kind of an x-ray vision and just immediately you start thinking a few extra chess moves ahead. Anything else about this kitchen that is worthy to talk about? Um, you know, one of, one of the things that it seems like a small element, but something okay. that I really enjoy that they chose to do was to have um, dual um, trash slide outs. So they have- Oh, that's a great so idea. So they have one on this corner and then one on the opposing corner. Okay. And so they have a total of four cans. And when you're, when you have large groups of people in the kitchen like this and everybody's throwing down and, and so much is going on or you have a birthday party and you have to throw okay. away, you know, 20, 20 different, you know, plates or this or that. Um, having that on both sides is great because you can have the one here for the people who were active in the kitchen okay. and then the one over on the opposite end That's for people who don't idea. have to come into this space yeah. 
and you know, it's, there, there is such a thing as too many butts in the kitchen. Yeah, right? <laughs> I that, agree. That, that's how I I've started agree. rating kitchens. Is, you know, <laughs> how I, many butts you can get in exactly. the kitchen? Exactly, this is a okay. three-butt or five-butt kitchen. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. All right, I love the idea of having two trash cans. I actually might need to change that in my kitchen mm -hmm. because we do actually fight over the trash right. can. So it seems like it's right in the prep area. Yeah. And when you have two or three people prepping, mm -hmm. it, it does make a difference. Doing this project here here in town I mean, right. with with Highland with the inventory that you guys have increased in the last year, yeah. that's been a big thing for all of our projects, right. and a big selling point for any new okay. conversations that we're having is that we can yeah. if we need something if there you know if there's a little curveball or something like that, it's I can have something you 24 can hours right yeah. I can have it the next day okay. very easily I can just run out and pick it up. When you're in projects, mm -hmm. things need to shift a little bit. Right. And in the traditional cabinet program, you've got to wait six to 12 to 16 yeah. weeks for that product to come in. You can literally come right down to our warehouse, which I see you do, right. and, and actually pick up a product either that day or the next day mm -hmm. and get back out to the job site to get it done. Yeah. How instrumental has that been for you to get projects completed? That It's been key. Uh, okay. And really, that's that in itself has been such a defining thing for us because there's one getting into projects so having you know having sales conversations with customers mm -hmm. and letting them know that as we get into something that we can we have the flexibility of if we hit a curveball which every project does period right. i don't care who you you're are you're not going to get through a project yeah. without a little bit of you're a curveball not, sometimes you're not, big exactly. curveballs yeah. and and it's you know yeah. curveballs can come from all kinds of different causes yeah. um, but once you get into a project and, and let's say that we oh hey this this guy you know the guy who was fantastic just accidentally miscut something Okay, so everything was planned out fine. Somebody miscut something on accident, and now we don't have to wait, you know, six weeks yeah. to get a repair piece. Or right down to the warehouse, to pick it up, get back out to the exactly. job site, yeah. and that makes a big difference, especially for dealers like you, getting mm -hmm. a project completed, getting a, the punch list done. Right. And in a lot of cases, that can be the make it or break it of when you get paid to complete the project too. And, no question. And our goal for um, small and mid-sized uh, companies is to help them grow, to help them be flexible, mm -hmm. to help them get through these projects, and make sure that there's product in the warehouse that can help you do that get yeah. done get paid and then get to the next project because time is right. time is money yeah right there's so many benefits to just having it right gotcha. there so some flexibility some speed yeah you're back out you're finishing projects you can move on and, exactly. and not having to wait such a long period of time right so yeah i noticed when i was doing custom cabinetry that mm. that if i made a mistake on the job site I was literally weeks, if not months, to yep. get back out to the job site. And and for a family, they want to get into the kitchen and right. use it again. The family's a little bit disrupted during mm -hmm. the process, so we want to get them done, get them back in the kitchen, get back to that baking. Mm -hmm. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, appreciate the good work that you're doing. Keep it up. We'll see what we can do to help you out. All right. All right. Appreciate it. Thank you.